Although arm and leg lymphedema are most spoken about, lymphedema of other parts of the body, including the genital area, can be just as, if not more, challenging to manage. Secondary lymphedema of this area occurs in about 10 to 20% of pelvic surgeries and radiation, while primary lymphedema of the area is typically caused by some sort of congenital lymphatic issue. It can occur in both females and males of all ages, including children. For women and girls, labial or vaginal swelling can cause pain when sitting, and if severe enough, can cause increased drainage. This will put a female at a higher risk for infection as well. Vaginal swelling is also common during and especially after pregnancy, which can become really cumbersome and painful. For men and boys, scrotal lymphedema can accumulate to large sizes, typically up to a grapefruit if not worse, if not treated sooner. This can make it difficult to walk or sit, to find clothes, and it can be extremely painful. There is a small chance you can find a specialized surgery to address this issue. Most people will go through lymphedema therapy for conservative management. So let's go through each piece of the puzzle for the best management for genital swelling. So the first one's going to be manual lymphatic drainage or lymphatic massage. Along with deep breathing, these are gonna be crucial to help stimulate the lymphatic system to get the fluid moving up and out of the area. I will place a link for the deep breathing video down below or up above that you can follow along with. But for manual lymphatic massage, you wanna find a specialized certified lymphedema therapist to help create a program specifically for you. But in general, we will typically work from the pelvis and lower abdomen area upwards towards the heart because we know that's the way the lymphatic system runs. The lymphatic system is a one-way system. It works from lower in the body and works back up towards the heart. And so if we want to think about the lower abdomen or pelvic or genital region, we know the fluid has to move upwards through the abdomen. And so we will work upwards in strokes from the lower pelvic area or the genital area, moving everything upwards. So when doing the lymphatic massage, you want to work directly on your skin, but you'll go to the area that is swollen and you'll just work in massaging directly upwards towards your abdomen or towards your heart. If you're looking more at swelling that's underneath, such as scroll swelling, you are still going to have to work up and around trying to get everything to move up and out of the area. As far as the belly breathing, you're gonna work on putting pressure in your abdomen by allowing your belly to expand with your breath and using your hands to help put a little bit more pressure on them. Again, I will put the link for the more in-depth video on this down below. So another key component of managing lymphedema in the genital area is compression. There are a few different types of compression. The main one being is something like a compression short. One option of compression short is using something like biker shorts. Biker shorts are typically snug against the body and a lot will have that padding on the inside. That's gonna put pressure on the genital or pelvic area, which can help get the fluid moving out. But a biker short's not always the best option during a day or when you're trying to be out and about. Another option that's gonna be a lot better for that is something like Spanx. Spanx has been a well-respected brand that's been around for a while. They have a lot of options for females, but also for males. A Spanx short is going to give that more gentle compression to the area, which can help stimulate the lymphatic system, not only in the genital area, but also the lower abdomen and pelvic region. I'll put some links down below for the best Spanx options for genital or pelvic swelling. However, if you try these options and they're just not enough compression for you, you may wanna look at talking to your physical therapist or your certified lymphedema therapist and getting you something like a customized compression short. They are going to be a lot more effective at containing the fluid, but they are going to be thicker and much more expensive. If you're looking more for a brand that you can get off the shelf that specifically specializes in lymphedema, something like Juzo Compression Short can also be another option. And again, I'll put a link for that down below as well. So the third way to help manage this type of swelling is something like a swell spot. Swell spots come in all different shapes and sizes, but you can find them specifically for genital swelling for both males and females. Bright Life Direct is a great company and a great website that you can find all of these specific lymphedema products, and I'll put a link down below for them as well as a coupon code. 
You know you're gonna get good quality from these swell spots and they're made specifically for this issue. But now, swell spots are not typically the best for during the day when you're out and about. So most people wear them more in the evenings or when they're at home. They are pretty gentle and they feel a little bit like a soft, small pillow. So they aren't gonna be too harsh on the area, but they are gonna give better and more localized compression than a compression short will. If your lymphedema is chronic and severe enough, your doctor or your therapist may advise you to get something like a compression pump. Compression pumps can be extremely expensive and a bit cumbersome because of their size, but they are a really great option for some people who have this swelling long-term. And real quick, I just talked about the larger swell spots that are for genital swelling that you could see cover the front of the pelvis region as well, which is really nice for someone who has global swelling in that area. But I found that I have a smaller swell spot that is for genital swelling. So this is a female genital pad and it is a lot smaller in size and it's more for just underneath. So it has this fabric on one side that has a little bit of grip to it that it will stick to any clothing, whether you're wearing a compression short or underwear, whatever else, and so it won't slide around, but it is a lot smaller. So you have the larger ones that I showed before, and you can find something like a smaller option too. Overall, I think the swell spots are gonna be a great option in conjunction with a compression short because it's going to help focus in on areas that maybe a compression short does not lay flat against. That part of the body does not lay flat in general. They're, everyone's a different shape and a different silhouette. So we wanna make sure that we're giving the right amount of compression and using a swell spot of some sort with the compression short, I think is one of the best options. So next we're gonna talk about the most traditional way to manage lymphedema, and specifically for males, and that is bandaging. A lymphedema therapist will use different types of foams and paddings along with the bandages and isolate the compression around that localized swelling. Compression bandaging is used as the number one way to help get lymphedema or swelling out of something like a leg. However, it's a little bit more challenging to use in the genital area. A slightly newer option besides a short stretch bandage is gonna be something like a Coban. Coban is made more as a moderate cast, and so it sticks to itself. So unlike bandaging that tends to fall down, this is gonna create almost a form or a small cast that will hold in its place, and that'll help for more consistent or longer duration of that compression wrap. Another common thing that's used for bandaging is something like a tuber grip or a tetra grip. This has a little bit of compression to it. You can put the foam inside or some sort of padding around for comfort, and then they'll use a tuber grip over the top to give that gentle compression. The nice thing about the compression bandaging is that it is localized, but it also can help reduce the pain really quickly from something like scrotal lymphedema. Before trying self-bandaging, you wanna make sure that you're talking to a lymphedema therapist because all bandages are not created equal and you wanna make sure that it's safe for you. So the last crucial piece of the puzzle to help manage and reduce genital or pelvic swelling is exercise. Exercise is always a crucial component of the program. If you're clear to do so, you can try something like swimming because that's gonna give a natural compression while you're in the water. Or even better, you can try something like cycling because putting some gentle pressure from the seat can also help get the fluid moving while you're pumping your muscles. To localize to this area, pelvic floor exercises or Kegels are an option for both females and males that can help get the muscles to create a pump to the area and that'll help stimulate the lymphatic system to get the fluid moving up and out. For exercise, you just wanna make sure you're finding something that you enjoy. So if you don't enjoy swimming or biking, you can just try something like walking or gardening or even doing your household chores. When you use your body and you stimulate your muscles, that'll help turn on and activate your lymphatic system to get the fluid moving up and along consistently. If the fluid gets backed up or just sits in pools there all day, that's when you're at a higher risk for something like an infection or wounds or drainage. Genital swelling can be really frustrating and challenging to manage. For some people it's short term like after pregnancy and for some it's chronic like lymphedema. Those were the main treatment options for lymphedema of this area, but you wanna make sure that you follow up and reach out to a certified lymphedema therapist for individualized treatment because everyone's gonna have different needs and for safety reasons. And if you are a physical therapist or a lymphedema therapist, hopefully this video gives you some ideas that you can try to help your patients yourself. For more videos on lymphedema management, be sure to subscribe below and click the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks everyone.